So let's create the canyon with more complex type of the side walls. And we're going to use a chooser for this to create additional elements for us. First, I want to create um, overall shape of the canyon. So for this one, we're going inside our preview. Let's go check this is our main extent so we can increase slightly in size. Okay, let's go to create a new layout. And it's this is area where we currently have it. We have four tiles. So I want to have it canyon and maybe going something like around here. So we'll go select lines. And I'm just going to create maybe kind of like this going around. Okay, now on the lines, I want to use the breakup. So it will give it some what natural look. And also let's look on this edge. We'll go to, um, let's go edit. Actually, you know what, just double tap click. We'll open the shape properties. And you notice right here we have a profile curve so we can change uh, different and depend how it will apply it. It's, we'll see if we want to smooth out or create. Right now, just straight going line. Okay, follow our distance four kilometers. We can bring just maybe a little bit closer. So we'll make a little bit sharper look. Okay, I think this is okay for now. So we'll go back to our, and right here we have it, our layout. We want to connect this to our perlin. So if we're going to connect, let's look at this. If we connect to the mask, this is what's happened. We masking ways only happen. And if we're going to connect this to um, shape guide, this will be about the same result. So you can see right here, we still applied but we have the going inside. So what we need to do, we need to actually invert. So we'll still provide the pearl and kind of on top, but this is going opposite way. So let's go ahead for now. We'll just use the inverter, easiest way to do it. We'll connect right here. And again, I can see right here, we have our kind of cannon. And the reason why I'm using, because I want to use this pearl and effect that we currently have so let's give it us a nice apply look. Let's scale slightly down, add more greenish to this. And we'll look on elevation as well. Okay, leave it down here. Step in this and reduce elevation. So overall, I'm looking on this canyon and want to be sure it's look good. I don't like right here, we'll come a little bit closer. So we always can go inside layout. Okay, let's go overview, select our box. And we can even just increasing even this way. Okay, in that case, you can see we kind of constrain inside. Just if we want to take our camera when we render or maybe some game position some way around. Okay, so my next step, I actually want to create um, kind of levels now or um, sides for this. So if we're going inside and render, you'll notice right here we have a little bit too smooth looking. Uh, you know what, let me do one thing. Let me pop up this just slightly up. So we have it better resolution mostly it's because when we start working on add terrain uh terrain to this so we want to kind of preview so you can see right here we have it okay let's go to inside and we write the terraces it's what we wanted so we want to take terrace and we'll just add let's put it between okay um let's go to um lock this preview so in this case if i'm going and open modified as i'm viewing so i still have it the same right here you can see we have this terrace is going for this i want maybe pop up them let's go with a five so we have one two three four five levels okay we can look also a little bit on a layering so we'll see, pop up them. 
Probably one will be look good. Okay, let's go preview. You can see we have a nice layerings. So next, what I want to do, I want to apply a different type of the erosion to all of them. And after combines, we have a terrace done. So let's go now to the natural, select, and we'll have one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, we can unlock this one. I'll just go connect. All of them. Okay. And also next what I want to do it's using this height chooser. So we'll go put it right here. We'll take our terrace or actually right from this one and we'll connect to guide it. So we need to guide it properly height. So next so we have five of them. So right here we have it currently three. We need to switch to five. Okay. And remember this one is lowest. This is highest. So in some cases, kind of, um, so we'll go, this one will go to our lowest and we'll just start connecting them. In some case, you don't totally can control it, which one has access to what. Okay, let's go preview this way. And we also, now we have erosions and you notice the old name it's same so what i want to do i want set name and maybe this is one low okay this is will be um mid one mid two Hit three and we have at our height. Okay, let's go start with the, our lowest one. Okay, we'll go right here, select this one. And on the lowest, for example, I want them very kind of going smooth, so we'll have it as much as possible. And you can see right here, see how it's changing. So we'll go on the lowest effect and we'll just extremely high okay let's click OK preview so you can see right here we don't kind of touching those ones but right in the middle we start having very smooth effect so next we'll go to mid and we could modify this as well if we needed to add additional so in that one, let's go channel and just to be a little bit different, we'll pop up rock hardness. And you can see we kind of can apply slightly to this one. Let's go same channel, increase rock hardness. Maybe pop up a little bit on this one. Just make sure they're different. Okay, and right here, even harder. Now let's pop up on that one way higher. In this case, you will see it's kind of different. They will look because right here we have a softer, harder, so it will give it us more interesting effect. See, like right here, it's harder, and right there, it's soft, and now we have another top hard so by mixing between soft hard and soft hard we can create more natural way of erosion okay and on the top let's go say way high okay, we'll click ok again just to go over these ones maybe you know even pop up a little bit more here yeah a little bit too high let's 
let's bring a little bit up. Okay. Now on the middle, this one actually let's opposite. Give it a little bit sharper, so smooth, sharp. Okay, this one will have it a little bit more smooth again. And on this one, we want to actually add sharper to this one. Okay, let's preview. Okay, you can see we have it very nice hairs right now. Depend on the height, and we have it this sharper corner, smooth and sharp. So kind of almost apply a different type of rocks to this. So we can go preview right here. Okay, it's look nice and I want a little bit more enhance, add some additional details to this canyon. So let's do this in um, next portion of this tour.